Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Not Too Complicated 2. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Last episode we started working on different singularities and I'm still continuing the work. We have iron, redstone and lapis. And now we're making diamonds. Also I have been bulk crafting items including the ender star, 10,000 of it, as well as a few opinium cores, uh, the iron version. And yes, we are still doing garbage. We also have the diamond singularity. An emerald is being prepared, that is good, but you might also notice that we have 1.05 trillion EMC. That means I should be able to get the remaining lime matter that I need, and I should be able to make one more power flower. I can. Nice. I think all of our CPUs are busy now. Also, for some reason, we have lag. What the hell hap- oh my goodness, you again. Just fill it in. <laughs> you can fill it in. I know you can. Uh, these furnaces cause a lot of lag uh, when this thing happens, so maybe we should have a smelting factory factory again? You know, like the crushing factory that we have. It has been such a long time later that I was wondering what the hell happened to my flower. And well, this is what happens when you have great CPUs over there and garbage ones over here. The flower, which is one of the most complicated items that we can craft, is being crafted by a garbage CPU. So it's like doing four jobs at the same time. <laughs> That's it. I should remove these. While the flower is being crafted, we have two more singularities, emerald and copper. So here is emerald and here is copper. I was also not paying attention, so we have a few extra ones. We trashed them. But we have also reached a point where I think it does make sense to start making the activated carbon. There's only 8000 more left, so why the hell not? We are also at the final stages of the flower. <laughs> I think it's done. Yep, we have an extra one. That should be 600 million EMC per second? Yes, very good. However, now that we have 600 million EMC per second, I don't think it makes sense to have the ender dragon seeds. They are going to cause lag, so why keep them? I can vein mine, right? Yes. Uh, the less garbage we have, the better our lives are going to be. I was hoping it's going to stabilize. Are we still producing it? Oh yeah, we're still producing it, okay. And we're making them here. Well, I don't need you. We will use the pots for something else. If that is the case, we also don't need you. I meant the EMC link, because uh, we're not producing anything to go in. It's been a decent amount of time later. We have our activated carbon singularity, that is good. And I have been pulverizing a lot of blitz powder. Apparently that's also empty. Yeah, why are we missing 200? This was supposed to be 160,000. I have probably used it for something, it's not important. One more thing that I think we should start doing is to make the client stars. Uh, let's get a bunch. The smaller ones don't have EMC. Oh, we need more. Okay. Yeah, exactly. We need four of the spheres. And here is client star Omega. This one has an EMC. I have a feeling that you only need 64 in order to make the higher tier one. I could be wrong, but this is the magnum star. Uh, this also doesn't have EMC. Apparently, my feeling was wrong. You need 256 or 512. Who cares? Uh, let's get a bunch. Uh, you're gonna need a few thousand. Yeah, you're going to need more than a few thousand and I guess we should have it on auto-crafting. Then we remove the patterns. We have a recipe for the Magnum Star Omega and we can't craft it. I have no idea why I thought I can do this by hand. Can you make me one? Nope. A bit more EMC. Just a bit more. Yes, finally. 3000. And I thought you need 64. I'm a genius. Okay, so Magnum Star Omega. Not a quest? Fine. We teach it to you. Have fun. And I guess we don't really need the patterns because that one has EMC. Oh, I missed one. So after the Magnum Star, we have the Colossal Star. It's not really fun because each one of them is 422 trillion EMC. So far, we have 0.5% of that. We're doing awesome. The blitz powder is ready, I'm making some bliss powder now. But one more item which has a singularity is the enhanced ender ingot. So let's start with 50,000. I'm making the correct one, right? It's a shame to waste all of those resources. So here is blitz. Alright guys, it has been a few hours later and unfortunately you're talking to a very sad and disappointed lush. In this series, I'm two episodes ahead of YouTube just in case I get sick or something. And well, two episodes ago when we were making the singularities, uh, and you saw it like literally a few hours ago, I received a comment. So my understanding was we need 16 singularities, right? There was a comment that, hey lush, did you know you can make a creative vending upgrade? The short answer is no, I did not know that. 
Cause you know, here's what I did. I just checked the uses for the final star shard. I saw the creative storage upgrade and I thought, eh, that is useless. Why would you need infinite storage? And then I checked the uses for that. I saw the infinity pipe upgrade, which I thought, again, it's not very necessary. And I never went to the second tab. So I never knew about the vending upgrade. So what does it mean for us? It literally means that I need one ultimate singularity to make the creative vending upgrade and then I will put the creative vending upgrade inside the 2x2 drawer and I can get all the infinity ingots that I want, all the ultimate ingots that I want, all the ultimate singularities that I want and probably all the final star shots that I want. So in short I just need 20,000 of each and every item and this is why I'm disappointed. So that is all fun and good, why am I disappointed? Very good question. I will show you, first off, this is Bliss Powder which goes over here. And now that the quantum compressor is empty, I will show you the reason of my disappointment. Here is 16 million cell component singularity. And just remember, I need two. That's it. Fluid cell singularity, a the frame. Antimatter singularity, universal mass singularity, And not to bore you to death, here is crystallized chorus block, mineral block, fluix iron, uh, which actually goes over here, fluix steel, bronze, coal, tin, red matter, electrum, experience, dark matter, dark steel, uranium, stellar alloy, nickel, enhanced ender alloy, and melodic alloy. So now do you see my problem? If you need 160,000 of every single item, you're pushing the game to its limits. On the other hand, if you need 20,000 of every single item, it's like a piece of cake. And for me that took the fun away, but I guess it's okay. What can you do? Don't get me wrong, some of the singularities are still incredibly complicated and incredibly time consuming to get, but still, we only need 20,000 of each item. Anyhow, let us move along. A few episodes ago, I did ask you guys, how can I speed these guys up? You know, the ones which are making us singularities from AE2. I have not seen your comments, so if you came up with a better solution, I'm very sorry, but unfortunately, we're going to roll with this. So we're going to have an energy condenser and we're going to entangle it to a few entangled blocks. This way, we should be able to have more extracting points. All of these guys are going to go inside the matter condenser, 64k, and make me singularities. So if I give you a lime matter and one cobblestone and give you guys a bunch of upgrades, you should work relatively fast. Yep, it's working fast. Hey, we can have more connections, don't you worry. So now how fast are you working? Not bad, we can have more entangled blocks. Hey, one more. I think anything after this is just an overkill. Maybe not. And I guess we just put you in the center. That should be better. Yeah, much better. Well, these are the items that you can see, meaning that we are extracting the stacks that you see up here. So theoretically, we can go faster. So with a few entangled blocks, this is the speed. And I think this is a very fine speed. Because, you know, for something like antimatter, I don't have that much of a problem. I have already made two singularities and I almost have 4,000. But in the entire time that we did everything, I only had 1,700 of these guys. So I guess this is a better setup. I am also making a few more singularities. We are making client star omega. Takes time. Because it will do that one by one. But in any case, I have also made the iron opinium core. That's a quest. Okay. <laughs> you can be a quest. Do whatever you want. And I think, yes, we have the crystal tine ingots. That's also another singularity. You know, two cobblestone are remaining. So maybe we go a bit faster. So that should be one stack. And with this one, it should be both stacks. Yes, we don't see anything. A few more singularities already. Here is end steel, a crystal tine pink slime. It's just incredibly difficult to find them. So iron opinium core, crystal matrix, and crystal tine. You know, I think what they should have done, they should have put the creative vending upgrade after the creative tank and the creative gas tank. That would have made the game more fun. I guess. Because imagine in Project Ozone we would have gotten creative chest before we got the creative tank. Because you know, then you don't really need to have a creative tank, you just make the creative chest and get a bajillion creative tanks. That's ultimate, yes. Anyways, here is our array of furnaces entangled to entangled blocks and we just need to have one interface. That's a wrench. <laughs> yeah, we entangle you, I don't know, to you. And we put everything that we have in a furnace inside those. Now there's actually more. Okay, 
it is perfectly fine, we can have one more in their chest, so that we can use another interface. So now just as an example, if I order 10,000 glass, it should be relatively fast. All of you are wrong. <laughs> Why? I thought I configured you. So we copy and paste. Yep. With power, it should work fine. That's good. That's really good. Hello. Do you see that EMC? It's a long story. So I ran out of food and then I thought, I will go grocery shopping. It's gonna take an hour, I can AFK. Apparently everybody was out of food, so instead of one hour, it took me like two and a half hours. No, 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 no. It gets much better. On my way back, I thought I have a flat tire. So I went to a car shop to get it fixed and well, they told me no, there is no flat tire. It's just the heat. I was very confused because I thought heat is supposed to expand stuff not the opposite, but it seems that car physics is different than actual physics. So yeah, long story short, it's been a while. But on a very positive note, I think we should be able to make the orange flower. No. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, can I have like 300 orange? No. <laughs> well, there is a trick that we can do and I wanted to do that eventually and that is we can recycle one of the flowers. Oops, uh, I broke my wall. If I put you inside a centrifugal separator, that one, don't eject. Thank you, thank you. We can also unblock you and well, now we have everything which is up to yellow. You see, we're just missing orange. Therefore, we should be able to extract the expensive stuff out and see if we can have some orange matter. That's not enough. Oh, I just need 40 more. Uh, that's not much. Oops. Actually, there seems to be a nicer solution. We can sacrifice one more flower. Uh, we can recycle that, obviously. Then we can put the 18 collectors and get the matters back. I'm really hoping that's going to be enough. Yep, that's 64. We needed 40. Uh, so can you make me an orange flower? Perfection. Uh, we keep these. Later on we want to make another flower. Who cares? So ladies and gentlemen, orange flower. This is going to give us 1.2 billion EMC per second. It's ridiculous. Actually, is it ridiculous? Not really. Well, this guy is better than the other flowers combined, so I can't really complain. In other news, I was also making the machine frames from thermal expansion and we have 20,000 and 20. So we can make a singularity out of it. Let us carry on further. There are a few automations that we're missing. There are a few automations that we have to optimize. And there's also one more big project that we have to do, and that is the fusion reactor from mechanism. We need to start getting neutronium and neutronium comes from neutron gas, which comes from polonium. There's also one or two fuels that we have to make singularities out of. So we will leave the reactor for next episode. Today, we're going to work on a few other stuff. So do you guys remember the assemblers? Of course you don't. I also didn't remember we have them. We used these guys in order to make transistors and SMD chips as well as PCBs. The problem is that all of these also have a singularity. And it's a very good thing that we had different machines for it because otherwise uh, making the singularities would have been very painful. This entire time we have also been making refined glue as well as latex and I have been checking and yeah, we're still making it. It's just that it's extremely slow. 2.9 thousand buckets. Uh, that's refined glue. These machines can also not be configured, we need to have access for one interface, we need to have power, and then we need fluids, and then we need to extract the output. So we are going to use our most favorite mod, Entangled Blocks. So transistors and SMD chips are going to require refined glue, oh, also the basic circuit board. Oof, that's not nice, we don't have that much. I am using an ender tank and a black hole tank in order to provide them with refined glue. And we are also extracting the items and putting it inside an ender chest, so all sides are configured. So the question is, can you make me a thousand transistors? Oh, ignore that we were missing a pattern. Can you now make me one thousand? Yeah, we seem to be fine. Very fine. Considering the fact that it's incredibly fast, let us order 19,000 more so that we can also finish the singularity for it. Also, we are going to need 20,000 SMD chips for the singularity, so let's order that one too. And this should be finished relatively fast, you go there. Maybe if we have one more connection, it's going to be faster? No, that seems to be the maximum speed. Okay, one more thing that we had to do, and I think I should have done this a while ago, was to make HTPE using mechanism. Because you know, this is incredibly fast. And unfortunately, we are going to need a stupid amount of HTPE sheets, because as you guys remember, steel casing from mechanism also has a singularity, and that is a crazy amount of HTPE. 120,000, if I'm not wrong? So we're 10% there. 
Previously how we used to do that was through this distillation tower that we have over here, but that's not fast enough. Therefore I finally decided to set up a system using mechanism and everything is fully upgraded. It's actually nothing super fancy, instead of getting water from a pump, we have 48 pumps over there, so I just put an ender tank with water, that goes inside an electrolytic separator, we have entangled blocks for the PRCs and therefore we're getting hydrogen and oxygen inside them. And if you guys remember, the second PRC which is making us HTPE? What happened? <laughs> ah, auto eject on, no? We're making extra ethylene. I did not know that. Yeah, maybe we should have a tank to dump the excess ethylene? Yeah, I think that is the only thing I can do. Theoretically, I'm supposed to have a gas burning generator, but we don't need the power. Uh, I can add one more PRC so that we can get more HDPE. But the problem is that then we are going to need more substrate and I need one more PRC over here. So we will have the same problem. So yeah, I was going to say as a byproduct in the second PRC, we are also going to get oxygen, which I'm voiding in a tank. Apparently, I'm doing the same thing with ethylene, but seems to be working fine. I shouldn't complain. Oh, and by the way, if you're seeing any fluctuations in the EMC, it's because I'm trying to make more orange flowers. We are missing 133 orange matter. And that's not much. Uh, ignore the yellow, we have one more yellow flower, we can recycle that. And then again, we have our transistor singularity, SMD singularity, and this one is steel. I was really worried about refined glue, but we didn't consume that much. So transistor goes here, steel goes here, and I really wish that these guys were in order, but they're not. SMD goes up there, like so. We don't have sulfuric acid to make the printed circuit board, but I thought I will just order the basic circuit boards. And I brought you in just to show you how fast we are making plastic. This idea of making a factory for smelting factories is great. All of them are busy. Just before we wrap up, there are a few things that I want to do. They're not very important, but basically, I want to remodel this platform. You might notice that one of our fusion reactors is not centered, so I have to move it. It's not a big deal, I just have to re-entangle the entangled block. I think I'm going to need one more fusion reactor, we're going to have an induction matrix, and I want to move the pumps. As well as these guys, that's going to be painful. But one thing that I did not pay attention to is that how expensive are the induction cells? I mean, look at the amount of HTPE that it's going to consume. That's why it's expensive. Also, it's going to take a very long time, and I think in the meantime, I should be able to gather enough EMC to make an additional flower. Uh, how much are we missing? 83. It's okay. I can wait. The entire reason that I'm making an induction matrix is that I want to know how much power are we making and how much are we consuming. Because at this very moment, I have no idea. So one induction provider, one induction cell, we just cover you. Oh, we're making 6.5 million RF. Do you know why it's 6.5 million? I will explain to you. I think it's because of the universal cables. Yeah, now it's 13 million. <laughs> okay. I just put one quantum entangler porter directly next to the port and, well, we're maxed out. Good to know. And of course, the reason that we are maxed out is because of the induction provider. Uh, that has a cap of 51 million. 52 million. Very good. Uh, let me get down to business. I'll be right back. For me, this has been ages. Before I explain what I did, I am making another orange flower. We had enough EMC to make enough orange matter, so I recycled one of our yellow flowers. Actually, that was the last one, so yeah. It's almost done. Almost. Yes. We have been upgraded to 2.4 billion EMC per second. That's actually a good number. Anyhow, I have not finished everything that I wanted to do. For example, we do not have an extra fusion reactor because, well, I, I'm just exhausted. <laughs> I wanted to move the distillation towers over here at our mob cages because, well, we don't need the mob cages anymore. That's still there. But the parts that I have finished, one of them is in front of you. This is a set of 104 pumps, all of them fully upgraded. Uh, they go inside an ender tank for water and basically this is our water reservoir because I use it across the base. For example, we have a connection for making HTPE. We also have another ender tank, which is making us anti-proton fluid. And you might also notice that we have increased our production from 7 machines to 9. 
And well, all the crazy magic actually happens down here using entangled blocks. This is more or less the same setup with a few minor tweaks. For example, we are no longer voiding the proton fluid, it goes inside an entangled block and into the dynamic tank. Which apparently never gets full. Um, I don't know if it's the pipes or not. Are we gaining fluid or are we losing it? Yeah, it seems that we are gaining it very slowly. These pipes have a massive inventory. It takes time. Oh, and by the way, anti-proton gas goes inside an ender tank, goes to the crystallizers over there, and I'm just voiding the lid. We don't really care. I'm just using an energy condenser. You can have some yellow matters too. And one final point, yes, it's extremely dark. We're not using lanterns, we're using magnum torches. Maybe that is something that we will do in the entire base because sometimes it's nice when it's dark. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.